Thank you for watching WTF with Tracy. Live from Hamilton Radio Studios from 206 to the 609 and beyond, it's WTF with Tracy and Friends. The most fun you can have on a Wednesday with your clothes on. Now, the 2023 nominee for Best Female Podcast Host, Tracy Brannigan. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. Hi, welcome to WTF with Tracy and Friends. I'm Tracy. These are my friends, Jason Marinko, Allison McBride. Welcome back, little effers. That's what we call our <laughs> fan club, the, the effers. Should we get merch made? Little effers. Ooh, little effers. Little I effers love it. Shirts yeah. and stuff. Well, That'd thanks, nice. guys, for watching. It is Wednesday. I was going to say May, March 20th. Oh, we're still only in March. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. Oh, I'm so traumatized after just buying the lottery tickets. I get so nervous because I don't know how to order them. And, you know, like the old guy in line behind you, like breathing I down know. your neck. You just like, never I got know. all nervous. Like, lottery can I have fever. plenty of Powerball and then you just never know what you're going to get? Yeah. Lottery fever is right. How much is it? 687 million? 687 million. And that's the Powerball. And the Mega Millions, even more than that. It's like 977,000. So and get, your, get your Friday. Mega and your Powerball at the same oh time. My Double I up on the odds. Because I was uh, all frazzled getting the yeah, tickets. So, so I got to go back. And get so this old man million. frazzled you this bad in yeah, line, huh? Really? So many questions. Quick pick, uh, multiplier, the. So the Mega there's Million. There's another thing. My five there's many dollar things, things yes. ended up being $20. Yeah. I don't know how. The Mega Million so the casual, um, called on Friday, and that's $977 million. The casual lottery person like us that just goes and plays, you're, you're like. You're the equivalent of of the people who don't go to church all year round and you show up on Easter on Sunday either. and yes. you take the seats and they're like they're never here and now they're, they're in the seats and they're, they're in our in seats seat. yeah. you're in my spot in line lady I got to get my tickets he wants his pick three you know he's <laughs> and, and you, you felt the pressure dead on analogy yes <laughs> I did I really did feel the pressure but ticket is secured okay if I win we win. All right. You are a potential Woo. millionaire until the drawing. We are all winning. So what do you do with that much money? What are you going to do? You know, I don't know if I believe you until I have a copy of the ticket. I'll send you a photo I'm just of it. Kidding. <laughs> I don't have a copier, but I'll, yeah, I'll send you a photo. <laughs> I don't have a copier. <laughs> Sorry, Jen, you're absent today. You're not in on this. Just kidding. You don't kidding. get dollar dollar bills. Just kidding. What would you do with all that money? Oh, there's too many things I would do with it. Keep, get, give me one. Nothing? Oh, gosh. Pay off my student loans? Like, you wouldn't travel. You wouldn't but go But you don't somewhere. need credit anymore once you have that kind of money. Yeah. True. So why would you pay Tell it off? That's off. true. <laughs> and, you know, even though, like, I still say to this day, I will go to my grave with my student loan balance on my tombstone. I don't care. Well, you got to you got to be a little more optimistic. Maybe you take care of it. Yeah. All right. So, so, so besides the student, loans, I would travel. I would love to renovate, put a pool in my backyard. Renovate? Well, you can buy a whole new damn house. I'm buying a whole plot of land. I'm making like Tracy Hood, like a whole village, oh. and like all my people can wow. live Clearly in the village. Your How <laughs> altruistic of you? No, mine. that's that's very one. That's wonderful. Wait, is that like renovate narcissistic? Let me Tracy renovate Bill? my little. <laughs> Hamilton home, and you're like, I'm buying a whole Tracyville. Yes, but she's looking out for everyone, not just I herself. Want, like a whole village of my people, you know? Like yeah. when the shit hits the fan, we're like off the grid. We have like prepper. Is it kind of like Barbie Land? Prep. I didn't see that movie, so I don't know what Barbie Land is like. <sighs> it's Tracy Land. That's that's what's gonna be. <laughs> Tracy Land. It's a, it's a good ambition. Yeah, I mean, just it would just be so much fun. You know, and I used to when I when we used to just hang out on the corners and play stickball and drink and everything. And I would say, like, when we get so much money, I'd be like, I, I'll just I'll just buy a whole city block and knock it down yes. and build a castle. Yeah. So all our friends, we could all be in the same place and hang out like we are now. Yep, that's what I thought then. Sounds good. A pool with a Saint Ides logo in the center of it. <laughs> we, right. we, we had we, we planned it all out. It was real good. Totally <laughs> unrelated, but when you say. A city block with a mansion, it makes me think of the Umbrella Academy. 
What's that? that was a comic book I used to read. Well, it was also, uh, it's also a TV show now. Right, it was a comic book first, but, like, and they like made in it the a, middle of the yeah. city. But, but it looked like, kind of uh, wokeish for me compared to the book, I and it. I it was uh, very All right, anyway wokey. Well, Tracyville will be. <laughs> it was all about me. It will either be in the mountains somewhere in the middle of nowhere, what about or like Napa Valley? by a beach. I, I got to tell you, the mountains mm. is no good. Yeah. Why? Mountains is very high altitudes. Okay. Uh, now think about that uh, American Nightmare that Jen had us watch, right? Yeah. There's people are in Colorado. Yeah. Uh, a lot of your mass shootings, Colorado people in high altitudes are more inclined if they have mental conditions to to uh, go off the deep end a little oh, more than usual. Allegedly, or is that a fact? It's it's factual. Yeah, I, I looked into it. It is it is like like if you like look, you know, you, you could be a you know border you know regular old person and be there, but if you're a little off, as many are, uh, and you're in the high altitudes and everything, it's gonna it's gonna get the best of you, and uh, you know, it, madness <laughs> It'll can, get can the madness will ensue. Yep. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna turn into Jack Torrance from so the. So you're saying like long term. Exposure to the high to altitude, altitude, or like just visiting? Will that be no, an no? Issue? People, people that live there. Uh, I, I, just another example off the top of my head: the uh, the Dark Knight movie uh, shooter James Holmes. Yeah. Here was a guy who was uh, going to school, and he he pass he failed a crucial exam. He was like pre med and everything, and because he failed this, he couldn't deal with the failure. And uh, you know, this guy was a student the whole time. He wired up his whole place with explosives and shot innocent people in a movie theater. Oh, for God's sake! Colorado. Yeah. All right. The mountains. Um, okay. I know this well, from. I think we're a little off topic. Mm. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying, Colorado. Not if you if you got your pick, the high altitude people you might want to stay away from. All right. Are there mountains like in? Uh... I mean, we don't have to go like super high. We can go like halfway up the mountain. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think the we're Poconos. just gonna go to the Pocono. <laughs> I, I think you're you're thinking of a sense of security, like uh, you know, the higher ground yeah, than everything. Gotta, like, look, you gotta have but, a lookout. But these days, you you gotta get low, get low, get low, <laughs> low get low, 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 low. because uh, I, you Apple know, bottom jeans. Boots is that the, the same fur? one? Is, <laughs> is that the same one? But no, really, it's you know, people are making bunkers underground. We have uh, millionaires getting their own islands uh, have for ten years. Too. And yeah. an island. Yeah, you, 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 right. Well, th the crazy thing to me is of these billionaires that have these islands for, like you said, if shit hits the fans, these people already have a staff working there right now. Supplies. Like someone, that's someone. Like life. in case they come there, there's a staff to cook and and everything. That's. Just, I guess they live on the island as well. Makes me the Twilight. Uh, movie. The owner of Facebook didn't want no one to find out about it, but you know, if you're building a mansion on, eventually <laughs> they're going to know you own the out. island, and yeah, that whole thing about that. How are they going to know? Yes. Nobody's going to know. And a lot of people, they're like, uh, you know, they would just stay on their luxury yachts, and you know, while things are going chaotic out in the streets here, they'll just weather the storm at sea. We sold our luxury yacht, but maybe we'll get another one, a bigger one. That would be cool. What about um, pirates? Somalian well, we pirates guns. is a concern. Uh, any pirates? <laughs> they don't have guns. to be Somalian. <laughs> <laughs> the Powerball, I'm getting guns. Guns! Guns! <laughs> I we got guns. <laughs> Boats and hose and guns. Like, what else? Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Yes. Well, all right. Well, what would you do with uh, all that money? Nothing. At first, nothing. Uh, I, I saw a whole thing written by this lawyer. Oh yeah. Do you nothing. Can't tell anybody. Tell no one. Do nothing. Tell no one. Get an attorney. And an accountant. And an accountant. Uh, and uh, then you kind of take it from there. Uh, do you sign the ticket or do you not sign the ticket? Because I've heard conflicting uh, advice. I think it is your prerogative to not be announced as the winner if you wish. I'm not positive on that. Wait, I think but that so varies state to state. Signing the ticket makes you be announced. No, I thought signing the ticket means you want it up front, which I want it up front, by the way. No, no I actually, I, you, you have, have to, to sign pick. the ticket. Yeah, I, annuity or the cash up? Yeah, annuity. If you lose it, anybody annuity. else can take it. When you buy the ticket, yeah. you have to declare that. Yeah, I always want it now. But I you do don't not, have to. I, um, want, I don't want it. Uh, right, I don't. don't yeah, be out of your my mind. Money. They'll kill you before you see it. Exactly. They're mismanage it. Exactly. 
The CIA. The, yeah, yeah. I thought a maybe I'm assassin wrong. that kills the winners month after. <laughs> the lottery <laughs> assassin. They don't operate well, on U.S. That, soil until you win the lottery. That might be why you want to sign the ticket because if I have a ticket signed by Allison McBride and I can't prove I'm Allison McBride, you know, no, no winnings for you. Yeah. So maybe <laughs> sign nice. it and then lock it up. Safety deposit box. Call the attorney. Keister it. Get the yeah, keister it. Get the. Uh, Check it will disintegrate. Crack yourself say. up. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> I did just grab. You sure did. So, what are you gonna buy with it? After what's your period of like non-disclosure? Six months. So I love the memes. It's like. You'll know when I win win the lottery. I won't say I win the lottery, but you'll know I win the lottery because like there will I have be sh- I have there will dogs. be signs. Tell me you won the lottery yeah. without telling me you won like, the lottery. I'll have eight more dogs, or I'll have like a llama in my backyard. A llama. My favorite is uh, it's an Instagram reel. Uh, I won't tell my coworkers I won the lottery, but there'll be signs, and just see a, a man dressed in a complete panda suit destroying computers, <laughs> knocking things off people's yes, desks. The, yeah, that. so I would do that. I, you know, that's funny. You know? It's funny we're saying this. I always wanted to do a story, um, because you know, at work you have the work lottery. Hey, it's Powerball. We're going in on tickets, so on and so forth. And I wanted to do a story about a guy whose favorite football team loses the Super Bowl, his girlfriend breaks up with him in February for Valentine's Day, and then in March, all his co-workers hit the Powerball, and because he's in a bad mood, he he plays every time. He doesn't play. And and I just see, like, like this Ben Stiller-esque character in in the role of the guy pulling up, like, to this, like, warehouse. His car is the only one outside because none of his co-workers are coming in. And, uh, you know, just, just... Seeing where th- well, where does life go from so there? So that makes me think of it because me and my Can friends will sometimes go in on lottery tickets, and there's always one or two friends in the group that says, "No, not this time." And in a side chat, I'm like, "Well, what if we win?" Yes, so are we obligated? Didn't, so you uh, didn't want yes. to give us two dollars towards our ticket, but what if we win? Are we still obligated to like? I, I'm I'm getting a Bronx no. Tale vibe no. on that. It, you dump her and you dump her fast, kid. But then You're just how, seeing like, the tip of the iceberg. Does it suck to be you? <laughs> yeah. But also, how much does it suck to be you? Like, oh, I'm the friend that didn't want to give two, five, or two or five dollars yeah. to hey. a group hey, for Allie, a Powerball ticket. I'll give you a prime example. When I was working at the college, right? Oh. Um, we we asked everybody on our in our department would they want to chip in with the microwave and refrigerator. And everybody said, no, it was only like 120 bucks. That's all we needed. So just me, my boss, and my supervisor. Did you not let in. anyone use it? They let nobody use it. And everybody <laughs> was not going to do it. Can we use your microwave? Oh, and they Can wanted some microwave? of that refrigerator action, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You know? And we just said, no. Nope. a frozen dinner. You had to work late. Yeah, like, that shit's I melting. I just think, like, how much would it suck to be that friend that wouldn't give $5 for a lottery And ticket? that's where and the they, maximum dramatic win. value is. That's where that's a great drama type them. story I that mean, you can tell. Eventually, oh. you cut them in. But I mean, definitely the first trip, like, they're not coming. Just to teach them a lesson. I, I have gotten questions, Tracy. Uh, people have asked me, who is the man whose voice we hear but we never see? And we shall identify him? Oh. Yes, yeah, the voice that revealed. comes. Yes. I mean, he he's seen him. every day. Just not like- we'll reveal him. They don't know if the guy that's seen is the same guy that's the voice, though. Oh. oh well, let's reveal. Who is the voice? The voice is none other than super producer Ruben Rodriguez. <laughs> He like, good. Now he's shy. Now he's shy. <laughs> but Ruben <laughs> also no does. Ruben also does flavor curtain. of the week with us. Yeah, he comes out. But he's standing. <laughs> he's cut off from the neck down. Well, I'll tell you what. They've seen his ass an awful they've lot. They know his ass. <laughs> they know Ruben's ass for sure. It's always in the camera every time. We're dying. <laughs> They can pick Ruben out of a lineup if everyone stood with their ass to the camera. I know, I know he does it on purpose. <laughs> you must. He's cracking up in there. We love you, Ruben. Super producer. Voice identified. Ruben Rodriguez in the house. So, wait, did you even answer my question? What are you doing with this, the, the millions? What are you doing with the winnings? Uh, you know, 
It's it's one of those damned <laughs> if know. damned if you do. That's why she's asking. Why are you I, can I finish the rest of my sentence? Oh, I was oh. in the middle of a breath. Uh, you will, uh, you know, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. And, uh, you know, so it'd be nice to say I will be charitable and I'll do this and this and that. And then, you know, but everyone wants to hear the fun answer, right? So, you know, I'd buy the Raiders. Um, I'd like to, you know, everybody always says like, oh, I, if I ran the team, I'd do this. Well, then we'll see. <laughs> uh, you know, I'd, I'd uh, enjoy myself. It also help people, of course, to a certain degree. But. I saw this thing when you come into a windfall of money, what you should do uh, immediately. People will come crawling out of the woodwork and they will yeah. want this and that from you. Uh, they now you don't ever give from the main olive. You break off from the branch when it bears fruit. <laughs> so you don't ever give from the principal. You give from the investment. Right. Like a uh, and this way you keep something. yourself from. MC Hammer type things with where, you know, just all these people bring you down and God, things that happen to people. <laughs> so I, I think prudence is important if you win. You got to be uh, it is. You know, cautious. Um, w Bob and I get in this argument. We have an argument every time there's a big lottery thing, like because we make our list of like who's going to get how much and we always disagree. There's always like. I mean, just that's incredibly <laughs> optimistic, though. That you, no, you you have every to believe time. it to win it. We, you know, we they really say, like we have this conversation every time there's a big Powerball, and who's on the list and how much you know everybody's gonna get. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you gotta think about it because it's reality. I believe, I believe, we're gonna win. So, all right, well, you're gonna. Do buy the Raiders and be yeah, charitable. That's just, yeah, I, I would, yeah, Positive just vibes. yeah, I would just you know, yeah, I, you know, I think I we have enough. I think we have enough jerk offs with money. I'd like to not be one of the jerk offs. We sure do, <laughs> right? Sure I mean, they they do. just jump out at you everywhere, There's every no chance shortage. they get. No shortage at all. Do you see uh, the fire in um, what's her name? Not uh, not close of NG. What's the actress's name? Whole house caught on fire while she was overseas. They saved her cats, which was nice. No, I didn't. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking whole about. Whole mansion just burned down. To, uh, I it'll come to me thereafter. I can't think of the actress's name, but her she was in Europe working, and her whole house just I mean a massive mansion hmm. just burned down, and her housekeeper saved her cats. They Aww. were running out with the cats. Aww. Yeah, <laughs> I wish. Anyone would save my dogs first. Of course. Yeah, you're the best. Nobody loves you like your pet does. You know, like it is. They're, that is yeah. unconditional love. Like they're always know. excited to see you. But all right, so lottery. Go buy your tickets. I think you have until what two hours before? When do they draw it? Eleven o'clock. I think so. So maybe like nine o'clock. Go out, get your tickets, 10 and then 59. Friday too. Get your power. Wait. Drawing Megamillion? Wednesday at eleven p.m. All right, 11 p.m. So you have until 9 o'clock to go get your tickets. Go get them. So you can watch the whole show and then go get your tickets, and we're all good. Uh, you can leave us a tip if you win. You know, <laughs> you heard it here first. Donations are encouraged. Exactly. So let's do recap. Uh, weekend recap. What did everybody do this weekend? Anything good? Mm. St. Patrick's Day shenanigans? Oh, St. Patrick's Day, I forgot. Yeah, so you forgot. Sunday, right? Yeah. Yeah, Saturday, I didn't do anything. I just stuck around the house. Sunday, Sunday yeah. was St. Patty's? Sunday, Sunday was the day, oh. yes. And Sunday, I just went and hung out with friends. It wasn't too crazy. No, well, mm -mm. that's disappointing. It was disappointing. Well, no, I was it was counting on a good it story. It wasn't disappointing, but it was just the weekend before was more crazy with the parade. Yeah, yeah, I agreed. You did something for the parade, right? You said last week. Last week, yeah. So you didn't St. Patty's at all? I sure did. <laughs> What'd you do? Um, our friends have a party every year in their backyard, you know, in the house. It you, was so nice out. It was a gorgeous day. Yes. So I was. sat in the sun and just just soaked up the sun. That's what yeah. got me thinking about, like, yeah. summer. Like, I, I went to a friend's spring. house, and we ordered their St. Patrick's Day. We ordered half and half. Like the corned beef and cabbage and vegetables, and then they Love also had the mac and beef. cheese and corned beef and cab or corned beef. So we ordered half of each, and we all shared. And the mac and cheese was chef's gift. We had the most amazing food served at this party. Our friend Obi is uh, Bahamian from the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say? 
Bah- <laughs> How do you say? <laughs> I think that's exactly what you say. say. Bahamian. He made so much food. He made this curry chicken, this green curry chicken. <gasps> It well, I mean, if you could, I love curry chicken, this, no matter what color. Curry. It, it was unbelievable. It was so darn good, and the chicken was just like falling apart. Mm. Big thing of rice, and then I think they had corned beef and ham. I don't, or no, ham and cabbage. I don't know. Well, sometimes those like curried meats, they like stew all day. Yes, long that's in the what it was. They stew it all. Day I long. mean, it, that was the star of the show. It was. Mm. I had it for lunch, and then I had it for dinner. <laughs> I think I went back. I went back. It was unbelievable. Obi, Love if you're it. watching, good job. So what'd you do for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, I didn't do anything St. Patrick's Day related. Um, you know, St. Patrick's Day to me, and I know you'll remember this living on uh, where you lived, uh, we, we had one of the greatest St. Patrick's Day parades ever in Trenton. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, you know, even when we got older, you had the bars, uh, Gersh's, and I saw someone put a comment uh, about the Tiernanog on... Um, Uh, you know, this post about St. Patrick's Day in Trenton and everything. And, uh, you know, being there when you would close the bar, uh, the owner is is just, have you ever been at the Tiernog in closing? Oh, when, I don't know about closing. No. At at the I end, don't. at the end of the nights, I, I mean, I don't know if that was all year long or uh, just weekends. I, I would always get a kick out of bringing people there, and I'd, I'd you know, the music stops. You're like, you got you got to stand up, and they'd be like, why? Everyone stands up, and everyone would stand up, and then uh, I, Irish Bill there, he would the owner, he would get there up there, and he'd he'd give this whole thing, and he'd say. You know, as best like, God bless the Republic of Ireland. God bless the fighting Irish of the Notre Dame. God, bless. and it, it was a, the coolest thing. Oh, Ari, like you I just get chills, yeah, and it, and it would be, that. it was, and they just had an article in on NJ.com, the last real Irish bar that is actually a place with signs from Ireland, uh, and you know that doesn't have like you know all all the gaudiness and everything out front. And the Tiernanog is still on That's Hamilton right, Avenue. Tiernanog? Yes, it, it's still, still open. Uh, yeah. He passed away, uh, yeah. and then uh, new owners bought it, and they did not want to change much of anything. Good, but uh, they're still open, right? Yes, yes, yeah. indeed. The Tiernanog. So that when I see St. Patrick's Day, that's what I think of, uh, and everything like that kind of celebration, I which was been there in. 30 years. Right. So funny yes. was, oh, man, I sound so old. It's funny, though, because I was talking to someone, they're like, oh, I had no idea Hamilton does a St. Patrick's Day parade. I was like, no, there's a huge Irish community in Hamilton. Absolutely, yes. And, and someone's like, I had no idea. I was like, there are multiple Irish pubs and even, like, the Irish... Um, store over there on Nottingham or whatever. Wonderful story, yes. Yeah. What, what's was, the name? I forget the name of it, but I was like, there's Carlson a Carlson Shamra. Yes, 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 thank you, Carlson Tracy. Shamra. Yes. I was like, no, there's a huge Irish community in Hamilton, mm-hmm. and St. Patrick's Day is so big in Hamilton. That someone was like, I had no idea. Who knew? Only, I guess. Start hearing them bagpipes and everything. It's, it's a, an incredible atmosphere. It really Love is. Love it. Yep. I don't think I heard any bagpipes at the I did. Hamilton Parade. Although I... It was it, raining it, 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 and really it, it, cold. Yeah, it was <laughs> raining and cold. And at some point, I said, okay, I've seen enough. It's magnificent. It was magnificent. I saw the mummers mumming. Oh, that's... Mummers you were able to see that mumming. live? You yes. went to, oh, that's incredible. It was incredible. magnificent. And then I said, okay, I'm getting inside to the bar. It's too cold. Simply mm. too cold. It was freezing. It was very cold. It was. So Sunday, I went to Six Flags. Uh, yes, St. Si- si- Patrick's it. Day at uh, Six Flags, and uh, Saturday it was so crazy there. We were going to go Saturday, and there was post on Instagram where uh, just people were like, <laughs> "It was just madness the opening day." I, I just think they said, "Oh, it was opening it, weekend." Yes, the first day was Saturday, and people were overwhelmed. It seemed working and everything it was just um, um they said there were so many people that the preferred parking was like the regular parking really yes and they have such a good offer right now every year i get the regular general season pass um their offer right now is you have the platinum pass which uh they're offering the diamond pass at what the platinum pass costs 
which I've never had any of those passes. So I didn't even know where to find the preferred parking. I followed Speedy Gonzalez. It's the Speedy parking. <laughs> you look for the Speedy Gonzalez signs. Uh, got there. We, we, I said, I wasn't going in with expectations. I said, look, if we don't get on rides, it's fine. We'll check things out. Uh, we got on three rides. Uh, we Batman, Nitro, Dark Knight. And mm. that's just a great day for Nitro's me. Nitro's yeah. my all-time favorite. I, I was not anticipating the line being where we could get on Nitro. Really? And I, I got to be a little prepared. That's That first drop, when you haven't been on a coaster in a year or two, is pretty intense. That, I think, I, might, down, might I haven't been on it in, uh-huh. in like a year or so. Hands down, my favorite roller coaster ever across all roller coasters. Oh, it, I want to go now. It's, it's, sit in the front seat. I always sit in the front seat. We waited a good, wa- oh, good while for the front seat. <laughs> but you, we did, yeah. How we do you got get it. to the front seat? Like you just like all right, I'm gonna wait when it breaks Mm -hmm. off and like you can like divide into lines for the the car. Separate lines in front of the cart, Tracy. I see what you're saying. It's been a long time, I guess, since I've been on the Nitro in the front seat is like my all time favorite adrenaline rush. Oh. Oh yes. And when they have the park at night too, oh. the view of the whole place lit up is incredible. And then when you get to the point where you like go around in the corkscrew. I mean, everyone blacks out. I black out. Do you black it's out? Sh- the sharp true. turn, you mean? Yeah. That's where the camera goes off. You got to get ready for the <laughs> picture no, no, to no, light up. No, 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 the corkscrew, <laughs> the one that goes around and around and around and then goes back. I was like, everyone blacks out. On on Nitro, you mean? Yeah, yeah. There's like one part where you go like in a kind of a corkscrew. It's it's a sharp turn and it's you go sideways. Turn. Yes. Yeah, and you go, I black out every time. Really? Everything goes fuzzy. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I, she's like, and I love it. I, and I love it. it. Well, you know what's fun is if you look at the people coming before you get on, you see like their expressions. Some people are like, whoa, but then a lot of people are just, like, oh man, that kicked my ass. I love. It's literally my favorite roller coaster ever. Well, we, we've already been talking, and they give you four skip the line passes with the diamond pass. Oh, okay. For the whole season, you can't okay. just four times every time you go. I <laughs> I, I, I was like, was like, that's like yeah, the flash no pass. So I I send them a shot. It's like we're in all likelihood going to use those for King the Ka, and she's like, I I don't know if I could do it again. I don't, I was like, you did it before, you'll be fine. And then she started making me go, oh man, that was crazy. I've done every catapulted into the damn sky. Is that the tallest that one. That's what yes. You're like, it's. And then <laughs> Yep. I've done I every single Six Flags in years or Great Adventure. Batman's I always call it Great Adventure. Batman's also a really good one. I used to love Superman because you would land your stomach. That's fun. In the yeah, the pretzel thing. loops in Superman. They still have that. Oh yeah, Superman's oh, a good all ride. All right, I, I gotta yeah. go. I gotta get to, to Six <laughs> Flags. Should we do a live from Six Flags? We should. Let's do a field trip. <laughs> but you I, can guide us through the. He, he's our it, personal it, guide. I, Michelle can guide us through the whole place. We we were a little rusty, but we got, we caught our footing this weekend. And and the best thing is like you get the adrenaline from the rides. Hit Batman first. That's my warm up. Dark Knight, <laughs> then Nitro. Then it's like we got to eat. Uh, and I go to the bathroom. Michelle comes running out to me. She's like, "You gotta hurry up, hurry up!" And I'm like, "You know, I'm like, all right." It's just like, "Hurry up!" Not only bugs, but also Sylvester out there for pictures. Aww. And and they're like my favorite too. And then I was like, "This is what you were yelling about." And I wore the hoodie that I wore here for our anniversary with Bugs and Daffy on it. Sylvester's going like this to me. He's, he's crying by his it. whiskers. Aww. He's looking on the back of my shirt. He's like that. I said, "I will go in that store because you have to talk mime to the characters because yeah. they're Looney Tunes." Yes, and. <laughs> And I said, I will go in that store and get a Sylvester shirt. He said, okay. Aww. <laughs> you know, so, I would love a field trip to Six Flags. I haven't been on a good roll. I haven't been on a I love that you like called it over- a field trip. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> like, I haven't been in like field a year trip. or two to like a roller coaster. Not even Six Flags, a roller coaster. It, it is a I'm great. I'm due for a good adrenaline rush. It, it's a great like hour, two, or three away from life. If you can get on a few rides, it really is incredible. Would you you, you feel like coaster? a kid. Yeah. I t- like you should. I love roller coasters. Well, I yeah. used to love I'm roller coasters. I'm old now. I don't know. I, you, I might you, I might black out and they would have to like bring an ambulance. You'd in. be fine. You'd be no, fine. You just I warm up on a few. King to come. Me and my dad waited in line for three hours See? for King three to come. Three hours? Well, because then it like broke down at one point. It got I'm not stuck waiting for anything like, oh. for three hours. I'm no, sorry. <laughs> I took but my you, dad never Father's ridden it. Day. If you went on it, you'd understand. You'd understand. <laughs> you would. Tracy. So I took my dad I, I, for Father's I'm, Day one year, and I was, I'm I was he's like, no, if we're going to be here, 
we're doing King to Cost. So we got in line, mm -hmm. and then it like shut down halfway through because it didn't make it up over the hill, which happens. It happened in the beginning. Oh, well, I'm so intrigued. Like, All right, well, let's and wait. They fixed it, and then we finally got on it. My dad's like, that was worth the wait. I was really? Like, okay, Very, I just, uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Can I buy one of those passes? You can do the fast buy, passes. Like, doesn't always mean you're going to fast pass it, but... Uh, the regular pass is the best way to go because you don't have to rush to get on everything at once. You could just go back. You know, you're yeah. not, you're not yeah, trying to so cram close. everything in like, a day. Uh, we could go, uh, you get the season pass and it pays for itself, right? After like one visit, Absolutely, yeah. And then you can go all year long. Maybe next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm sick. I feel a little something coming on. <laughs> It'll be like how summery. It'll be nice out by next something. Wednesday. That would be amazing. All right, we're we're doing we're doing a field trip. But yeah, but on a Wednesday to, night in the we middle did, of the week, I don't think it'll be as busy. It's not open on weekdays yet. Uh, yeah, it's just weekends for right now. But the schedule does open up, and that's that's the day where like we got lucky. We went, we we left work like three o'clock, got there, no line at all for King the Car. The fourth time we go to go on it in a row. Michelle says to the worker, the guy at the front, well, she's like, is, is it all right if we go on again? We've been on four times. And the man's like, for what? She goes, for for our brains. <laughs> you're, like, you're, like, you know, you're like, our eggs are scrambled here. And they laughed. They said, no, when the park closes, we go on it like 10 times in a row. Oh, yeah. so now, there's cool. a benefit of working there. They don't advertise, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love the it safari. All. I sent Tracy a video of my uh, my work in the field. Uh, <laughs> so cool! How did you get? How did you swing that? It, it is there. As soon as you walk in, there is the sample of what is the King Fisher uh, Safari Suite, and it is. I I got to tell you, we were joking before going. Jen was saying it's a yurt and this and that. <laughs> it it's pretty nice. If you're a person that like wants to stay and is not have to come back the next cabin? day. It's, it's air conditioned. In, it, it is a yurt then. It's like a yurt. Okay. okay. So this is the first yurt I've seen as well. <laughs> um, so it, it is It is really nice. Um, now, it sleeps four, but there's one big bed. So like you and somebody else and maybe some a third person. But I thought what was cool is they have a deck with like uh, patio chairs. So you could sit out there and listen to the lions. And, and watch yeah. the But wait, I don't understand. All right. I know that it's on what, 360 acres or something. But like you don't hear traffic from like five thirty one ninety five or five thirty nine whatever was that or any of those major like, highways that triangulate six flags. Yeah, like I can't. You have to. You I mean, have I'm going to tell you. Traffic. I I seen this thing called Big Cat Rescue once. Yeah. And it was this kid, and he went to Africa to volunteer to oh, help. I thought he was talking about Joe help. the Lion King or Tiger. whatever. Tiger King. To, to help um. Oh, no, I know what you mean. Joe Exotic. <laughs> Joe Exotic. Mean. But uh, he, he went there, and the first night, he's, like, sleeping outside in a, in a sleeping bag and said, I am terrified. They are 20 miles away from me, and the roar is, like, shattering my skull. Even that far away. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did you ever see naked and afraid? Yes. <laughs> and they're in, like, they don't even have a tent. They're, like. And they're just naked and surrounded afraid. Surrounded by <laughs> sticks. They're naked, and they hear, like, the animals growling. <laughs> Side of there, I would uh, never be able to. I'll admit, that. I got drawn into that show, but yeah. when Michelle was watching it for like a whole weekend, and I was like, These are very, these are people with no good they're station disturbed. in life, yeah, very they're, already, they're already pretty down. And I out. just worry about like the things that get in your naked bits, like, Oh, woof, I there's so much to worry about. Like, <laughs> I, I couldn't do it, I fully would closed. never survive naked and afraid or survivor. But now, you just learned about this the whole Six Flags. What do they call it? Uh, now I don't. The spa is included in it as oh, well. The I didn't get it's to see the, what it's called like the, the Savannah. Savannah Spa. Yeah. So you can have like the whole pampering uh, treatment and all that, as well as the safari. And of course, you can go to all parks. The water park included. Uh, I don't do the water park, but I know a lot of people like that. You know. So <laughs> it always seems like a good idea until you get there. You're and there for like, five uh, minutes and like band aids floating by in the water. I'm like, I gotta go. How I much so kid I did, piss oh, is in this water? <laughs> so I did oh. look it up when I was on the phone, and they do. It's a two night minimum requirement. Six hundred a night. Um, she so told the me. one that Unless. I looked at was like eight ninety nine a night. Okay. And that was family glamping suite with one king. And one queen slash 
Trundle. So that's two beds then. Yeah. I did not. I saw the Kingfisher. Okay. Based upon four guests: king bed, queen, twin trundle, pull out twin sofa bed, two night stay minimum, breakfast included, multi pack ticket included with each night, and daily morning giraffe feeding. Right. And and here's the thing: we're we're close, guys. <laughs> I've already fed those giraffes <laughs> like so many times <laughs> through my car window. I don't need to feed you again. <laughs> so, here's the thing: for us, we're close. Overnight isn't the most like logical thing. Right. Right. Thirty minutes. But if you're somebody coming from oh, I don't know, New I Hampshire. Yeah. Funny fun fact: actually, I you know years and years ago worked at the Marriott, and there's so many people Did from you? Massachusetts would come. Like and stay for like a week or even like a long weekend and like have the whole package with tickets to Great Adventure and I always thought that was like because we well, just take it for up. granted well, yeah because yeah, like, we grow up here we really take it for granted it's so, true you when know someone, and I was like I can't believe they're like I know it's it a is big a deal thing. they're coming from Massachusetts for this yeah it is a thing but as someone who grew up here and who can see that on a any day basis I was telling Tracy it was like Kate May Zoo is free. But you can pay the extra amount and feed the giraffes. Okay. And you don't have to do that nine hundred dollars a night. Okay. To stay in the safari feed the and yeah. feed the giraffes in the morning. Oh, wait, I'm just. You worked at the Marriott, uh, Princeton. The Residence Inn on Route One. Yeah, I don't think it's there anymore. I, I I had a friend that worked there, and and she would tell me. Now confirm this. If you work for the Marriott and you want to stay in another Marriott or something, isn't it like fifty percent off? At least, yeah. That's a pretty good benefit. Yeah. yeah. How can Any I mar- work part time from the marriage? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so this is even this is almost as exciting as the bartending job because I remember the stories my friend would tell me uh, about crazy guests and everything like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. People are nuts. Yeah. No, no, that's that's an intro. I've always wanted to. I don't know. I always thought I'd be a good concierge or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, you a, would. I, I, I always totally think like you know, you know, I work so many it. jobs. I'm like, you know, you should have. Yeah. Uh, when they I made the Marriott that. in Trenton, I applied there. Nobody called me back, but that's all right. They're yeah, closed. They didn't last. They yeah, they, they suck. Exactly. If you work there, they'd still be open. <laughs> Come on. I mean, let's be real. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I think it's true. Um, but so you did the tour of the Kingfisher suite. Yes. And they have a whole spa there. Yes, but they didn't have anything about the spa. They had a like a you know, all-terrain vehicle out there with the black and white line stripes on it. And it said Safari Spa. So I imagine that's included. Uh, did it say anything it about the say. spa? Like, I'm so curious. I want to... Do they drive you in the safari mobile like 150 acres into the complex and like you're in the middle of nowhere? No, you're going to be near the drafts uh, at the start of the safari. I don't think you could because there truly are little like brown bears running around. Like brown bears aren't the they're like when you go through, they're not in a cage or anything. They're They're just off roaming around. Now, the black bear, of course, has to be behind. Uh, You know, you can't. And uh, so, so, you know, you're, you're. I don't think you can take strolls unaccompanied. Is that's what you mean? And, <laughs> yeah. But I think the thing is, you can you can hang out in your safari safari place. You can go to the park. You can go on the coasters. Come no, back. It's cool. It, I, it, I, it's a really yeah. cool concept. I'm I'm glad they did. And it. they I, and I figure they had to make it awesome because everything is so review based and everything that oh, they yeah. would have to make it. Yeah. Something. So it does say uh-huh. um, each luxuries luxury. Luxury? Luxurious. <laughs> Luxurious. La, 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 luxury. Offers a private bathroom and access to outdoor entertainment, fire pits, restaurant and bars, spa services, event meeting spaces, and more. I don't even have my own private bathroom at home. <laughs> you see? <laughs> all right. Well, and then you uh, also get access to all three Six Flags Great Adventure theme parks. Right. You should. Get, uh, call them and ask if we can get on their PR list. Like, I, I will like definitely ask if, or if we could PR get a person event. over here that knows more than us from there. <laughs> yes. Would make sense to talk that about it. That would be all. amazing. Well, that would be fun. I would love to go and stay and do that, but not at that price tag. Nine hundred dollars a night. Yeah, that's a lot. I would barely stay anywhere for nine hundred dollars. I know. I know. It's going to be some, a like private island Carlton or something. <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh geez. So you you also had the 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 medium uh, event on Thursday, right? That was Thursday. Yes, yes, and it was where we had the Fire and Ice Festival, uh, the same location, 
And this is my second time going there. Um, and it was, uh, I, I, you know, you, the first time you don't know what it's about, you're a little nervous, you're checking it out, and everyone explains everything to you. Um, and Rich, the medium that hosts this, is a uh, retired uh, detective, I believe. Um, oh, and cool. yeah, I think he was, he's from the Hamilton area. He was a retired police. Oh, and, uh, it's, it's amazing. He, I actually purchased his book for someone as a gift where he talks about how he became a self-taught medium. Cause immediately I heard he's a detective, he's a medium. I start thinking like, you know, the police mysteries. procedurals right. where, where they have a gift and they're able to solve and everything. But that's a good story. Well, right? wasn't Based that the it. show medium? Wasn't that what that was about? She was like, she was clairvoyant oh, and yeah. solved the crimes. I forgot about that show. Yes. Yeah. But I don't think they were, she was actually like a police officer, but she would solve crimes. And there was one with a guy too. Same concept. Blonde yes. hair, blue eye guy. Yeah. That yes. was it. Yes. So. <laughs> That's what I started thinking. Um, but then he, he uh, you will, you go with a group of people. Uh, I believe it's anywhere from 40 to 60 people. Uh, say the three of us were to go. And we go there. Now, up front, a, a lot of these people, um, I think in, in most cases, want to hear from a loved one that has, as they say, uh, crossed over. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, there's great anticipation to do that, to hear from your loved one uh, again. And he explains it, the best I could say is like this. If you're watching the television and an image flickers up and there's a, um, you're seeing something but you can't hear it and it's static and it comes in and out. That's how things come to him as he's addressing all of you at once. That's so cool though. It, it, you know, at first you're, you're kind of skeptical, obviously. Well, yeah. This is, but. I think it's natural to be skeptical. Yeah, I mean, but you walk away from this uh, with a firm belief in the afterlife, if nothing else. Really? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Abs there will be things that are inside jokes that are so specific. Because this is how, um, you know, Michelle's cousin, he, he said something that only he and I would know. Because you're a little hesitant to raise your hand after you already went. You don't want to take up the whole time and everything with – but it'll get real specific with you. And wow. he'll say, the, the one that got That's us so cool. was the first one where this man, he, he was big man and the clairvoyant, which was talking from his uncle about his uncle talking to him. And he said, you, you've become better than he ever could have been. And the man's smiling and he's going, well, he taught me everything I know. And, um, then the man breaks down when he says, he says he's here with your strong ass dog. And he's like, my German shepherd. He I don't knew, know if I'd be able to handle myself. The man got, in, he got flush red. We were all aghast. We're like, because you just seen him like he was firm and resolute when hearing about his uncle that passed on and, and almost enjoying it. But when the, and he said, your pet is coming through and he is telling me, oh. I love you over and over again. Stop. And your pet, he cannot overstate how much he loves you. Oh, my so God. We got chills. Oh, we were. Oh, I got we, chills. We were a mess. Michelle's cousin, when we went to the next one, said, I hope I brought enough tissues this time. Oh, um, don't bring very the emotional. pets into it. The oh. pets can come through as well. And yeah. and ironically, uh, you know, uh, Michelle's cousin and I worked at the crematorium together where we cremated deceased pets for families that wanted their cremains. And you know what he said? He said, I'm here with all the dead animals, Jay. That we, really? he said, I, I more or less alluding that I've come across everyone that we've done the service for. Wow. And, I, and I went home that night and I'm like, do you know how many pets we have cremated? That's a lot. Hundred, I mean, thousands of pets. I just we've picture, like, we've him cremated sitting there thousands with all of, of these, pets. Like, pets, like all, like just standing on his shoulder on his, like all the it, it was, pets. It was. It like, really got me, and it, it was very touching. And and again, it, it was an incredible experience. And that is where I also met Susan, uh, whom Susan Tracy Mary. was able to uh, touch base with this week. Yeah, I connected with Susan Mary. We had a great conversation, and yeah, we're gonna try to you know book a date and get her on the on the program. She's awesome. 
Yes. So, like, I'm curious, like, how it works. Like, if she comes on and she wants to read, does she only pick up on who's in the room or could she pick up on anything? I don't know. Well, I'll have that conversation with her this week. I don't know yeah. how it works. Yeah. I, I think we were going to come from an angle of, of her experience as a clairvoyant, how it came to be, and, yeah. and her experiences. Well, and I know me and Tracy also said that we would, I don't know if it would be on air or after, like, paying oh, for Oh, I will. And yeah, I don't, I don't think I would want to, like, an on air reading, reading, right? Yeah. Yeah, yes. like, who knows? What? Oh God! Personal details <laughs> could don't come up. Me, don't, don't make know. me ugly. You do like murder here. shows an awful lot. You <laughs> don't know. want everything known. <laughs> okay, so on right, you air, go. You want, like an <laughs> informational thing, but then maybe off air. I, yeah, yeah, and I and I think I, I mean again, I, I it, you know, our greatest fear of death for a great reason is because we don't know what's after this. Right. You're but walking unknown. away from an experience like that and having a firm belief that there's certainly yeah. something after us it makes you feel good yeah for sure <laughs> yeah well that's so cool that you had a great experience again at the um <coughs> at this last show that's so cool yes uh, that's the guiding light rich Bracconi uh is uh on facebook and anywhere else and uh, i believe they are in new egypt uh in april cool Oh, yeah, let me look them up. We, our list of um, field trips and activities is really growing. Well, There's New so Egypt much to and do. Six Flags are like right next to each other. Speaking of so much to do, the beautiful weather over the weekend really had me thinking like, uh, forget spring. Who cares about spring? Like, summer is three months away. What are we doing? What do you like to do in the summer? Where do you want to go? What, like, what's, what, do you, what are your plans? Tell me. I, I already answered your question online. You said favorite. I said, well, of course, be here on Wednesdays. Of course, yes. you know? obviously, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You'll be at Six Flags, or do I, you call it Great Adventure? What do you call it? Uh, we talked about this last time. I said both. Yeah, it, it depends. Like if somebody says Six Flags, I'm responsive to that. I'm like, you mean Great? Yeah, both. Six Flags, Great Adventure. It, it is both. the. I should also say that again, it's the 50th anniversary there, so they got all kinds of stuff going on too. Oh. Yeah. So it's it's 1974 to 2024. Wow. Yep. That's. But great. yeah, I'll be at the park, and when I'm not there, I'll be doing festivals and signings like the Trenton Punk Rock Flea Market on April 7th at the New Jersey Cure oh, Arena. Sure. Yeah, we're going to go. I oh, believe it's going to be at the actual Cure Arena this year? Yes. Yeah. Single, the... single day passes are available, and I think two day passes. I don't know if they still are for Saturday and Sunday, but yes. Hasn't it always just been at the Farmer's Market? No, I watched the video from last year, and this is like Comic-Con. Uh, you can have your ads over the jumbotron in the yeah. arena. Uh, it's pretty intense. Yeah. yeah so, know. uh, you know, we're, we have vendor swag bags that the first hundred people get. Uh, although I don't know if tickets are sold out because I did reach out to Trenton punk rock flea market on Instagram. <laughs> and, uh, if they sold all the tickets, perhaps that's why they don't want to come on and join me and talk about it. If it's <laughs> already, it's already sold out. We don't need to promote it. So right. yes, oh. but it's the spring fling April 6th and 7th, Saturday and Sunday, New Jersey cure arena in Trenton. And, uh, oh. yeah. And I also have a festival in Flemington. Uh, which is the author spotlight uh, that will be at the end of May. More information about that. So book signings, uh, book things, and uh, of course, I wrote a new short story. What? You did? I did. Do you tell? Uh, let me see. Uh, a couple convicts are at a sleazy uh, motel, and uh, it's New Year's Eve, and they've been locked out of the room because they haven't paid. <laughs> And uh, a bunch of kids, high school kids, show up, and they figure to rob these high school kids because, you know, the one kid has an expensive coat Why on. Why not? <laughs> and, but these aren't your normal high school kids. <laughs> and they bite off a little more than they can oh, chew. And it goes from there. So, yeah, it's, it was a doozy. I was sweating when I was finished writing it. Whoa. Yeah. It's called Liquid Swords at the Sleepy Sandman Motor Lodge. No, it's not. Is it really? Mm -hmm. What a title. <laughs> yep. It. And where can we read this story? Uh, that will be in Starry Nightmares Volume Two. Uh, okay. th this is for the next the next go love around. It. But we gotta you gotta start getting those ready. So <laughs> love that. Yep. Well, I'm so excited you're doing all these uh, events and you know promoting the book and it's it's going great for you with that. I huh? still need to read it. It's so good. So did you good. get it back from Jen yet? No, I did not. <gasps> Jen has. Um, she is holding the Avenger hostage. Taken custody of it. 
I have like a stack of books this big I have to read anyway, so I'll get to it eventually. You are a voracious reader then. No, I my goal is twenty books this year. That's that's a reasonable goal. I did I think I did like sixteen last year. That's that's not bad. So I'm doing twenty this year. All right. So you're booked up with book signing dates, promotion dates. What are you doing this summer? Where do you want to go? What do you like to do? You know, I'm just a Jersey girl. Like the Jersey, a Jersey Shore. Jersey girl in a Jersey well, world. The Jersey Shore. What shore do you like to go to though? So for a long trip, Wildwood is hands down Love my favorite place. Wildwood. Love. If I'm gonna go for a day trip, Belmar usually. I don't like Seaside or Point Point Pleasant, maybe if I want to drink, but I'm just gonna sit on the beach, Belmar. What about LBI? That's a dry town if you don't want to drink, right? No, they have... Okay, so... But that's the other thing. My best friend's husband and his family have a house in LBI. Okay. So, nine times out of ten, if I'm going to go to the beach, it'll be there. But they have a ton of bars on LBI. A ton of bars. There's okay. um, The seashell is right on the beach. Yeah, and Pop... Uh, what is it? Joe Max? Pop... Oh, Pop, yeah. Joe um, Joe Pops. Joe Pops. <laughs> Joe Pops. Joe Max. Joe Pops. Yeah, so, LBI is a good time. Their house is across the bay, and what we'll do is we'll usually take the boat and anchor on a sandbar by LBI. Okay, right, right. You take just, the, yes. Just play in the bay with drinks. Right. Yeah, I know. It's it's a lot of people out there with the boats and everything. Yeah, my, yeah. my friend Mike had, had a, like a speed boat, and we would, a uh, few times I was able to get out there. Um, that's exactly what they did. They found yeah. like a good, they have like a hill where, where you bring the beach chairs up to like, a, yeah, a so it's fun. So like most of the time if I'm at the beach and you know, I'm usually down at their house in LBI. Okay. But if I want like a long vacation, I grew up going to Wildwood every yeah, year. Yeah, me too. So it's sentimental to you as well. Yeah. Uh-huh. I yeah. love Wildwood. We still go every year. Wildwood yeah. Crest, end, Wild of, Crest. end of June to see my niece. She plays in this um, big soccer tournament, it's, uh, the Beach Blast. Yeah. So they, you know, they're all playing soccer on the beach, and it's become our little tradition. Yeah. Summer so, tradition. To you, yeah, okay. We go down, we so, watch her play the games, and then you know we stay the rest of the week. And yeah, just, my parents would bring me when I was like a year old, so I had been going since over thirty years to Wildwood. I love it though. It's so much quieter than going to like seaside or point pleasant see that's when i i mean a good part of my shore experiences were spent at seaside and point pleasant all right so, it so it's, and i know it's not the same as it was no. after the hurricane like, everything is different family, yeah. yeah wildwood if i'm with friends okay seaside point pleasant where i can party uh, absolutely with fr- like, if i'm with just family and family friends and my aunts, uncles. We would like have like four hotel rooms, aunts, uncles, cousins, family, friends, mom, dad, whatever. Right. Wildwood is, there's nothing like Wildwood in New Jersey, I don't think. Yeah. You know, I I just think when those years, the party years were past me, I kind of stopped going. Yeah. Yeah. I I really did. I mean, people, you know, got older. Every people started having pools and everything, and and it's like I I just I don't know. But well, I see then things it's like that. To I would party at home than to fly right. Off. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm a beach girl. Like I love the beach. I love like the beach. I could just me too. I could live on the beach. Yeah. My yeah. neighbor showed me this thing they have every year called the Lighthouse Challenge. Do you know about this? Mm-hmm. No. I, because I again I'm I'm not well very sure, but I. Uh, it's it's like you go to every lighthouse up the coast uh, where they have them all, like starting, I guess, in South Jersey. Uh, and that looked like something I'd enjoy to do. That's fun. It looked yeah. really I'm cool. To think, is there a lighthouse in Cape May? San- I know there's one in Barnegat and there's one in Sandy Hook. I don't know I, all of them up the coast, There though. has to be one in Cape May. There must be. There must be one in Cape May, and I know Barnegat has a lighthouse, and then Sandy Hook has Barnegat a was definitely one of them yeah. that Old was Barney. on that list. They just is, redid Old Barney last year. Is that year. what it's called? Yeah. Incredible. Old Barney, and okay. then Sandy Hook has a lighthouse. I know because I've gone to the top of it and back. <laughs> and one, Hook one tradition. I think I, did. I think I did on a school trip. So Sandy kids. Hook is like... Um, the nude beach. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is you it? go to the nude beach? No. So also Sandy I didn't Hook, know that. they oh. have a nude beach, but they also have beaches that or like campgrounds where the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts can um, camp 
And then you, to camp there, you have to do X amount of community service hours. Oh, that's cool. So, like clean up, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. my yeah. older brother was in the Boy Scouts, and my dad and mom were part of, like, the troop. We would always go as kids and stay in Sandy Hook, and then we'd have to just go, like, plant flowers in the summer. Yeah, I love that. And beautify the space. Beautify the yes. space. That's we awesome. would always go to, like, the lighthouse. We'd ride our bikes to the lighthouse and go up on the lighthouse. And, of course, like, because my brother is nine years older than I am. This is the brother that's the police now. No, that's my stepbrother. Oh, other brother. So my, okay. My older my my older brother is nine years older than me, and it was his um, Boy Scout troop. They would sneak off to the uh, nude beach and get in a lot of trouble by all the parents. Yeah, it's okay. I see. They would sneak. <laughs> never anybody you really want to see on the nude beach. No, it's I on remember. The, oh, it's I on remember the nude the beach. One like year they never... came back and they were horrified. And I remember the parents. They were like, horrified by the nude beach. Where were you? And they're like. We never want to go back again. Apparently, it was just a bunch of very old people. Yeah, on the it's uh, it's old people. Oh, yeah, it's it's it, wild. Yeah, I know. I, I, I <laughs> never. Goes, yeah. You know, you know, like uh, yeah. I just I've just never even thought of one or knew one was. I didn't yeah. know where one yeah. ever was. Uh, and yeah, expectation and reality very different. Always, yeah. always, always different. Yeah. Um, and one summer tradition, of course, I always have. Like usually before or after the week of Fourth of July. I gotta watch Jaws. I gotta eat fourth of like that, that kind of food. I, I gotta Aww. get the Blu-ray on with the surround. It sound. makes me want a hot Jaws dog on the beach. It makes me want like a hot dog. Real yeah, bad. I know people put the film out over the water, right? <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. This I would like to do. That's fine. I, if you say Fourth of July, it just makes me want a hot dog. All right. Here's the, here's the question. Do you go in the ocean, Tracy? <laughs> I do. I love the ocean. I love. That's the why ocean. you like the beach. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I know. I know there's sharks and shit out there. But if I step on something sharp, like I'm out, I'm done. I'm done for the day. Maybe done for the week. Yeah. Oh my god. I'll go in the bay. bay All day in the ocean. You can't get me out of the ocean. Sometimes I will literally just like. You are braver than I. And in our like, our like, we would go to Barnegat Bay, take the boat out, and just anchor and stay there all day long. And you can paddle to the beach if you wanted to i hate touching the floor of the bay but i'll swim in the bay but it's like so murky that water like it's <laughs> it so is. murky it you is. can't and then last year i was doing that shark tracker and i saw there was there's a, a shark tracker app yes why yes. would you do that while you were out on the there bay? so you know where the shark is a it's great not a bad white idea. a couple years ago surfaced in barnegat bay yeah yeah the it the payoff isn't worth it yeah. All right. Like, well, with that, I don't eat bagels because okay, there's too much <laughs> chewing. I, I don't go in the ocean because there's too much shit I can't see in it. Did you say there's too much chewing? Yeah, I hate bagels. It's too much chewing with not enough payoff. <laughs> you chew your face off and feel I like you've unhinged. There's too much yeah, they're, chewing. they're horrible, yeah. horrible. Well, you know, if you're attacked by a shark, you just go for the eyes. You go for the eyeballs. Uh, punch super in the punch, nose. right? In the yeah. nose. Eyes, in the nose. Eye gouge, and then you gouge, get to be eyes. on I survived. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think I could take them. I think I, saw, I could wait, take the grave. I saw a TikTok where this guy was just I casually was standing there and like they're trying to like, he had like a, a bull shark, like a baby one, st- like bit his arm. And the TikTok was like, homie looks like he just got bit by like a cat. He's just standing there like, can you get this off? And like they're trying to like pry this shark. Probably off from Florida. Him. I I would lose my shit Florida though. People. Like if, uh, he was like, literally just yeah. standing there, like, all right, can you get this off me now? Florida man for certain. <laughs> yes. Florida man. Oh, <laughs> watch videos crazy. of Florida. They're throwing baby alligators in the drive-through with the drive-through workers. Like, what Wait, is going you know what on? I just saw the. Have you seen that clip of the the gator in the saltwater? There's like a saltwater alligator, or maybe it's a crocodile. I don't know the difference. Uh, the gator. Yeah. There's a saltwater gator. Like new fear unlocked. Like I did not new know that was a unlocked. thing. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Never yes. thought. I, they I'm like are more worried. Terrifying. Yeah, I'm more afraid of a gator than. Of a shark. Yeah, so right. you can never outswim a gator, but you can outrun them. So if you right. get onto land, you can run, outrun them. You yeah. can never outswim Those them. Those things are nuts. The the uh, the gator is a dinosaur that didn't die. Yes. Let's just call him what he is. And now he, they, <laughs> he he made it through. They can adapt to saltwater. What? That's very scary. Eating people at bus stops in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm telling you, I, you know. No, I know. I, like, there are stories of people. You know, everybody in Florida has the Florida room, the enclosed pool. But like, 
in their enclosed room, they're they've found gators in their pool. Like, imagine going to your pool at night and like risk first reward. You don't see no. that the gators <laughs> in there? Like that is no thank very you. scary. Yeah, very scary. Those damn yeah. gators. Go in the swimming too. pools. Yeah, <laughs> you go out to your pool. Like I'm just gonna take a dive in my pool. No, oh crap! I don't, there's I don't a gator. go in those creatures that can eat me's territory. I just stay away from it altogether. Yeah. And the oh, gator. I went for a whole You'll boat ride the in the coasters, Everglades. Huh? I, I am. I'm, I'm a land man. To the I'm a, I <laughs> a think land it was man. Da Vinci said, right? If man were meant to fly, he'd be given wings, and if he were meant to swim, he'd be given gills. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> well, a lot of people disagree. Um, you know, some of the comments. They're heavy on the Jersey Shore, Cape May, Stone Harbor, Avalon, Ocean City, Longport, LBI, Point Pleasant, Seaside, LBI again. Uh, where else? Some of the activities are strawberry picking, peach picking. Blueberries. Trenton. Yeah, blueberries. Hamilton, picking. blueberry capital of the world. Trent Thunder, one of my favorite things to do, Trent Thunder game. You, you love know, Trent Thunder. I love my Trent Thunder. I don't know why. I just always have the best We have time to try to do a Savannah Bananas. Yeah, we, we could. I mean, it's like impossible to get tickets. Do you know the Savannah Bananas? Is this a Thunder thing? No. <laughs> it's, it's like a... They're like the Harlem uh, yeah. Trotters of baseball. Yeah. Oh. That's a great, yeah, a great description right? of them. Okay. Yeah, and it's just like a party fun game. It's like these two teams, they... The travel animals, around. The it's a show. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's but, a show. Okay, I got you. It's a show. But they're also real teams. Yeah, too. there's really a real ball game going on, but like all right. kinds of craziness. Shenanigans. Well, the, the, the Globetrotters game. always played the generals that was in the yeah, green yeah, uniform. Yeah, yeah, so that's exactly. the t- yeah, okay. Um, and where is this but at? The Globetrotters always win. Okay. So this is like a, a real baseball yeah. The, game. It's the the Savannah Bananas and the Party Animals. They're based out of Georgia, but they've recently because they've become so big, they've started traveling now. So they've okay. taken it to the road. It's really a fun game. Are we out? Oh, I'm like, oh. <laughs> we my are peripheral out. just changed from whatever it was before. I mean, time flew. Look at this. It's eight forty. Uh, Allie, while Tracy does that, what is your WTF for the week? Oh. Uh oh, she's got a good one, Trace. Mm. I don't even know where to start. She's They're... mad about the WT. <laughs> it seems like she's mad about it. No, so I don't want to talk about it. It's a work thing, but that would be my WTF, what we were talking about. Okay. okay. Or, okay, so I had a doctor's appointment, and because I had this whole massive work thing before my doctor's appointment, he's like, I think you have blood pressure issues. I was like, no, doctor, I'm telling you. <laughs> It's work. It's, it's, work. it's I just work came related. from work. Oh, I, this, very... I thought this was a joke of sorts you were telling me. Oh, like, no, I no, went no. to the doctor. Okay, no. Oh, and I'm sorry like, to hear this. No, and he's like, I was like, no, I have. I just had a really awful day at work. I ha- like, And I hate being in the doctor's office. That gets you worked up. It gets okay. me worked up. The he's white like, coat. The white coat syndrome, yes. Right. Yep. yes. Yep. So my WTF moment was the doctor being like, all right, so I want to see you back in two weeks, but you have to take your blood pressure every day before two every day for two weeks. It's like another job. And prove yes. to me that he you wants don't you to do, you don't really have high he, blood pressure. You don't have high blood pressure. <laughs> he wants you to do his job exactly, for him. <laughs> exactly. So I had to go to CVS and buy the $50 blood pressure oh. machine. I, You're like, buying machines? How uh, health healthcare? What's going on like, here? <laughs> how did this that work? Like they squeeze the thing until your so arm is about to fall off, right? So uncomfortable. Wait, you should have seen me like, this morning. How do they though. read it? The thing is just the going. Needle like, goes like, after they let it go. You, you <laughs> should have seen, but... seen it this morning. I put the cuff and it's like line this up with your pinky. I'm sitting on the couch like this, and it says wait five minutes. So I'm sitting there like this. <laughs> And then finally, I'm like, I push the button and it like squeezes me so tight. I'm like, ah, I'm like, so I'm like, that hurts so bad. <laughs> it, it hurts so bad. And like, how do they know how many squeezes to do? Because your face so, is so like, you're going to kill me with one more. All right, they made the face One like, more. Oh. We're going to do no, one they, more squeeze. Do you really not know if they do it manually? It's because they have to listen to your pulse. So when your pulse stops, it's like how many beats and then like when it starts. I again. have no idea how that works. I always wanted to know. Like if somebody could teach me how to, to do, it has like, to do, do the, the I, I have a very good friend, Jen, who uh, won Nurse of the Year, actually. Oh, Jen, come and, on the show. And was so confident she told me she's pretty much a shoe in for this year as well Ooh, uh no. and and uh yes she would she would love to she has nursing tales that gives she oh. always tells 
tells me That's the things that are, like these kind of questions, and she would be the one to ask. Yeah. So Jen, if you're listening, Jen, we'd like to we have you. We want to have you on the show. I appreciate you asking me. My WTF moment was the doctor not believing I have that was a good one. syndrome. Yeah. And now things. And now he gave you a job to do. And just so everyone knows, I took my blood pressure this morning, and it was. Absolutely normal. Perfect, right? Perfect. That's okay. That's 128, 123 over 84. Phenomenal. Perfect. All Phenomenal. right. Well, let's, the proof is in the pudding. Let's see how you do the rest of the week and how that is. <laughs> Next Wednesday. Can I'll you bring return it. this machine after? Uh, that's what I said. Can I return it? I don't yeah. think I can. You should have just went to the what's place. Your, what, what's TF? What's TF? WTF? Uh, <laughs> I, I got to tell you, uh, I, the, uh, Public WTF was overwhelming to me. Um, it, it's it's really something Kate else. No, I uh, I wish though Kate, because Kate. Uh, <laughs> oh, who's Sydney Sweeney? That that's she's like the new Kate Upton. Uh, oh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. She's she's very exciting. So that's a good WTF. <laughs> Sydney <laughs> Sweeney, wonderful WTF. Is that the one dating Barry Barry Kigo, the one from Saltburn? Oh, I have a retraction. That man is a boxer. I should have not said that about his face. Being oh, making making weird? weird faces. Uh and Michelle also told me I did not give Saltburn a fair chance. Saltburn uh, is a great movie. Yeah, I know, but I went in and I'm just like, it's just about this kid and he wants to do gay things with this kid, and that's Wait, all you're so giving me. He's a boxer and that's why his face is. He he is a professional let's, fighter, yes. Let's be um, honest, the best thing about Saltburn is that song. Murder on the dance floor. Oh, so no, Sydney Sweeney. You didn't finish it either. Yes, I did. Listen, Sydney Sweeney is okay. not the Saltburn guy. This is the girl that was. She hosted was SNL. The entire She's movie. She's Euphoria. I was waiting the entire Which movie I do for need the to male watch. frontal nudity. That uh, there was like there's but, so but, much frontal nudity. Well, from what Michelle said, he he ex he <laughs> so he Sydney has a great expression Euphoria. of it at the end. But she's got big boobs, which is why I can see she's like the next Kate Upton. Or yeah, very, very good picture. Uh, She's but in the new movie with Glenn Powell. So wait, how did we get on this? You know, I started. To, I started getting into the public <laughs> WTF, and um, we've really gone off track. Uh, yes, I. <laughs> sorry, uh, but but I was like I said, Kate Upton would have been a much better WTF. Uh, I had no idea about this. We were in Philadelphia a month ago for my friend's, um, my friend Mike's son, Mikey, had a, a boxing match. And we don't have box. He has a trainer here, but for, for matches, you have to go to Philly. And we were going to Northeast Philly, and his friend Donald says to him, he says, you know, where we, you're not you're going to have us out by zombie town, are you? Now, I thought that was just an expression of, of what he was saying. Uh-huh. Uh, but then... Michelle enlightens me yesterday that there is a drug that is a combination of heroin and uh, fentanyl, but because the effects do not last long, they added another narcotic to it, and it's called Trank. And you will see people, Donald like was zombies. talking about real zombies, but there's this to boot, flesh-eating disease that eats from the outside in. So there's people with holes caved in oh. their heads. It it blew my mind. Like nothing else. And it's cheap. It's like three dollars a pill. Oh Jesus. So they have these people, these outreach people, they're handing out bandages. The bravery on these people out the ba they're <laughs> handing out bandages. Yes, they're they're like, you know, what do you want? He's like, I want Narcan, this and that. I, I it takes a lot to shock me. Uh, you know, I like horror, wow. this and that. This was it was some night of the living dead shit. To see people in. You saw it. You went through. No, no, no. The, this is was my friend's concern when we're going to the boxing oh, match. Okay. But he's saying you're not going to take us through the zombie town. But this is what it's called. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought he was like, wrap it up. Oh. No, no, no. Go ahead. I'll but that was my WTF is startling that that these people are so just just in a sorrowful uh, way of life. Just cannot. Yeah. Doing a drug that keeps you still and you can't move and also puts holes in your flesh. Horrible. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that blew my mind. That was yeah. complete no, WTF uh, for me. How about you, Trey? Um, not really a WTF. More like an M I V asshole. An A I T A. Oh. Kind of. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. No, it's just I've got this. Do you know anybody by the name of Dick? No. So my neighbor's name is Dick. <laughs> 
But I feel funny calling him Dick because in my mind, I'm just like a 12 year old, like little boy thinking of every dick joke every time I see this man. Like, hey, Dick, need a hand? Or like, I don't know. You're so (laughs) amused by a guy's name. Am I the asshole? I feel now awkward. Everybody loves Dick in our neighborhood. I mean, I got a million jokes. (laughs) It's not the same as Raymond. All I do is think of like, these awful things when I see him and he's the sweetest guy. Who would choose, though? Well, it's like a generational thing. Like, back in his generation, he's an older gentleman. Yeah. So, in their day, like, his name is people Richard. People call him Dick. But, some people but now, now it's some like people, Rick Rick. one guy calls him Richard, the other one calls him Rick. I'm like, am I the asshole? Only one no, calling because, him Dick? No, because <laughs> I think they don't want to call him Dick. I don't want to call him Dick either, but, but does he want to be called There's nothing Dick? wrong with the name. I don't know. I feel like a dick. <laughs> Did he introduce himself as Dick? I don't remember. I've been, you know, he's been my neighbor for 25 years. And you've years. always known him as Dick? I've always known him as Dick. <laughs> and, but, like, I don't want to call him Dick. But maybe because I call my husband Dick all the time. Like, You know what I mean? Like, oh, he's such a dick. Like, when I get mad, like, that's, oh, so that's what I say. To my, yeah. Oh, like, like, then that's dick. what it is. Okay. Yeah, so now I feel badly calling Tr- Dick Tracy, Dick. you have to distinguish between the name and the personality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I feel funny calling this guy Dick, so now do I start calling him Rick or Richard? I don't think you I can switch it up now, because then he's, I don't know. Um, I think now, it's weirder if you switch it up now. And I'm so awkward, now I'm not going to call him anything. I'm just, you know, I'm just hey, never going to say Heidi ho, neighbor. <laughs> you, this is what <laughs> you do. I you for, Dick? <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. I, I read ho. Mariah Carey's memoir. Uh, the meaning of Mariah. And in it, she says, people think I'm aloof because I call everyone darling. She said, but the truth of the matter is, there's no way for me to remember the name of every single person I come in contact yeah. with. Because oh, I come in contact with so many people. So darling is a, a lovely way to talk to everyone. And that's like, okay. So I got some darling. some stats back. Cara Delvi- Delvine is the actress's whose house burnt down. Oh. Um, and uh, yes, so that is, that was, uh, yeah, her whole estate uh, was, and le- many sightings last summer in New Jersey oceans with great whites is the uh, great Yay. white. There's is the tracker. The wh- you can track them all now, over and, you know, it tells you their age and they have names and. The twelve-year-old thing you said that comes out when you say "dick." Okay, I'm a big Batman fan, <laughs> so if I'm ever explaining a story now, if as you all know, Batman is Bruce Wayne. If Bruce Wayne was to ever stop being Batman, true Batman people will only have one heir to the cape and cow, and that is Dick Grayson, Robin, the first Robin. And Dick Grayson is like the hero of heroes. So I'm trying to tell her a story. I'm like, yeah, so I'm playing Arkham Knight. And in this, and then Dick gets, you think he gets shot. She, I was like, don't you laugh at that man's name. He's a fucking hero. So a alone. superhero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A superhero so, at that. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think, I don't know. More modern, I don't think we have as many Richards. I, I mean, I have a friend, Richard. I, we call him Rich. Yeah, uh, I think if I know? have a friend, Richard, it's Rich Cole's or middle Rick. name. My son's middle name is Richard after my dad. But I, I don't Can know. Can you call Just him one Dick. day? Hey, Cole Dick, come here. <laughs> as, oh, well, here's one I don't like. Dicky. Dicky. I know it. Dicky's bad. I know it's Dicky. Well, in Sopranos, they always talk about Christopher's father, Dicky Maltesanti. Dicky Maltesanti. And, and I was yeah. like, D- 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 yeah, Dickie. just again, probably 60s, more acceptable time that, that name. Yeah. Would, yeah. It's just funny how it's like a generational thing. Like now, like yeah. you wouldn't call somebody Dick. It's derogatory. Maybe I might. Yeah. <laughs> it's derogatory. Oh, but man, that's my, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? I just crack up I there's so many dick jokes to be made I love and you're like everyone I loves you need to come up for with <laughs> this gentleman needs a nickname Tracy yeah it's dick <laughs> neighbor his name is dick but what what you said everybody yeah, everybody yeah, like he's a big guy big dick. and he's big oh, yeah. Heidi ho neighbor Heidi ho. <laughs> really, look at her up. she's blushing this is like yeah, yeah this is, like, hey big on. dick <laughs> yeah. and, and then him going yelling. Like, <laughs> he's going like this to you. Oh my goodness. So yeah, let me know. Am I the asshole? Should I call him something other than Dick? How Big Dick. Hey, hey, hey Tracy. <laughs> yeah. I gotta tell you this. Um about I think this was twenty fifteen. 
uh, in the summertime, <laughs> I, I was shooting, um, I was filming a, a music video for the Southern Rock Band uh -huh. down in Tuckahoe, New Jersey, right? And the guy um, was friends with another friend that used the, the, uh, the property. Big, huge property, right? So the singer kept telling him, call him asshole, call him asshole. Right? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't even know the guy. I don't, <laughs> I don't know the guy, but I can call him an asshole. <laughs> and he goes, no, I said, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to say that to him. I don't even know him. You know, I just met him. Plus, he's an ex-cop, you know, state police. So, you know, be a little respectful. Yeah. And I said, he goes, no, no, just call him an asshole, right? He likes so, it. Right. Yeah, he loves it. That's exactly what he said. He loves it. Of course yeah. he did. <laughs> so I'm walking back to the to the van <laughs> to bring out more equipment to set up for the filming, right? So me and one of the other guys actually uh, were walking by. We look up at the garage, right? You won't believe it. Right up there in black and white, big letters, says Asshole's Garage. So. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> that's that's some real A-I-T-A. M-I-E is. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I'll, gi I'll give you one where I know I was, definitely. Used to work with a guy, you know, white mustache and white hair, you know? He'd talk a lot of shit. You talk a lot of shit to him. The guy retired. One day I opened up the loading dock at work. I think I see the guy across the parking lot. <laughs> white hair, white mustache. Now, instead of just going like, hey, asshole, what's up? No. What do I do? I have to go to the 10th power here. Oh, jerk off. How's your fucking throat box? <laughs> the guy gets it wasn't the right guy. It ain't the guy. Oh! I've never seen the guy. <laughs> you know, and, and that's always and, the worst. And he's always that's around. That's like seven best. years ago, but he's always around, and I'm like, fuck. Oh, oh. What did he do? He just looked at me with utter disgust <laughs> as you would some lunatic How screaming. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. And it's oh just like, how's your fucking throat box on? It just was I like too unique for, that. for him. Oh, I, I love yeah. that. I live for that's, that. Yeah, that. Best yeah. am I the asshole story and, ever. And here's me. I close the loading dock door. He has to come into the room where I work to get keys for the car. So, yeah, I had to come right into the room with me. Oh. Amazing. I love that. Yeah. I love that's that hysterical. for you. Well, you're the asshole, and apparently I am too, I guess. Am I, I'm the asshole. Well, no, that's how that man's did. nickname that's was amazing. born, because he became the new of the guy that we thought he was. The new one. Like, if his name was John, he'd be the new John, because I, you that's know. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think we have time for Flavor of the Week. We'll save that for next week. We're, like, way over time tonight. Whoops. But because uh, we've been it's having so much time. fun, so much oh, fun, yes. so much fun. Hey, I, Thanks for joining us. I know I get things wrong. You can comment about them. It's okay. <laughs> you could say it in the comments. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Let it. If let you it were, rip, you wouldn't guys. be watching this in the first place. Let it rip. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll be back uh, next week, guys. We got a lot more. Hopefully, uh, stingray. The Charlotte will have those damn stingrays. Stingray and, shark babies. You know, we'll have uh, maybe an update on Kate Gate. Where's Kate Middleton? Where is she? I mean, there's. Was the video her lookalike, or was you it her? You can't kill princesses in modern day with no that one was, knowing. That was. Or that was you? not her in the video. But guys, we're out. Peace we're out. out. Peace we'll out. Okay. Listen for an important week. message. We can't get up. We can't get started on the cake gate right now. Oh, I, that's a whole nother. Two days yeah. ago, I was a reg. I was like, did they really, could they kill her? I mean, could I guess they, they could, but uh, the fuck? And like, we place like, her with an can, imposter? Like, you, you can just kill so you've her. you've gone down this rabbit hole. You can play us out. We, we can't Yeah, you can play us. Are we still, Ruben, I'm still talking about that. Thank you for watching WTF with Tracy and Friends. WTF with Tracy and Friends is brought to you courtesy of Hamilton Radio. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and tune back in next Wednesday with another episode of WTF with Tracy and Friends. The most fun you can have on a Wednesday with your clothes on.